Good evening, Blue Ball Review lovers and followers. This is the Great Tasty Nades. Going to come at you with some gameplay footage for the in, the upcoming indie game known as Buck. Um, as you all know, the Big White Angus and I went to PAX East this year up in Boston, and um, we spent a lot of time in the indie developer and the indie game booth. There was a lot of hot games out there. Um, and a lot of good games too, a lot of ones with a lot of potential and upside, but one game that really caught my eye was Buck. Um, this is a game by Wave Inter Interactive, and I actually met the uh, the head designer, Gal. Um, and, of course, it, I mean, really anybody can make a, a good game or even get lucky with a good game, but there was something kind of different about Buck and different about Gal, um, and I kind of heard the story that was that, that was behind this game, and uh, it was it was awesome. So um, I I could just tell he was really passionate about it and, and and really just in love with with games and especially this character. So we kind of uh, we'll explain get into why a little bit later. But he just kind of fell in love with the character and and, and that really spoke to me. So um, I was I was able to get a uh, kind of a review copy of the game. So we're just gonna show some footage here and kind of jump right into it. Alright, so uh, the first thing I noticed when uh, I played it at PAX, obviously I didn't play it very long because <laughs> it was a very challenging game. Um, Buck is not something that um, you're, you're just going to be able to roll through and be super easy. It's, it's going to challenge you. Um, why don't you think that, that you have it? it it's it's going to throw kind of another curveball at you. Um, it's, it's always going to challenge you on a whole new level. So, um, let, Luckily, uh, Blue Ball Reviews and I was, was very fortunate enough, as I said earlier, to, to get the review copy, so um, this is something I had a little bit more time to sink into, so I started to get kind of the overall hang of it, and there's just something about this game, guys, I, I, I don't know really how to describe it, it's just addicting, and I just keep want to keep playing, so it's actually about uh, midnight 30 here, so showing some dedication, um, we'll go ahead and resume my game, don't want to start a new one, but uh, it's definitely worth I'll give you some backstories I'm playing through. So one thing you'll see right now is um, I'm in the junkyard, and, and guys, keep in mind I'm, I'm not a native PC gamer or a natural one. I I, we, I don't do a whole lot. I'm more of a kind of a natural console. So you'll have to forgive me on the controls, but um, kind of to that point, it was amazing how simple the controls are with this. With with a lot of indie games, they try to add a lot of functionality by, by getting kind of overly complicated with things and do so much, but but uh, Buck really kept things simple. So um, just the basic basic controls here, you have kind of fast melees, um, you have your heavy melees, and then you have your ranged weapons. So you can choose between pistols or shotguns, you'll see up here in the top corner. So um, then you have jump, and that's, that's really the basics. So, Kind of set in a post-apocalyptic world here. Um, oh goodness. So it's uh, set in a post-apocalyptic world, and your goal is to really just survive. So uh, you kind of have to scavenge. Like right here, we'll go ahead and scavenge this guy. Take some stuff. Scavenge him. Look at your inventory. Um, see in the top left corner the, the red flashing at your health so if you die you'll start right back kind of where you saw me I'm at the beginning of this level because I've died a little bit so far so uh, we definitely need some health so we'll go ahead and get that we'll get that too all these are crafting materials you can use that to upgrade your weapon I'll sh kind of show that off a little bit later but um, you're just the the main point of the game is you're this dog buck which is uh, obviously has some backstory behind it of why um, there's some significance here, but you're in this post-apocalyptic world and you're trying to find this girl. You don't really know, uh, at least as the gamer, a whole lot about the girl or who she is or why you're after her, but um, but that's kind of another aspect of the game is is, is this whole mystery side of things. So um, you're trying to figure stuff out and you're trying to explore a world and adapt to your, to your new surroundings. Uh, and, and your character is kind of having a difficult time, just kind of getting used to this scenario. So um, there's just a whole lot going on in this game, and a lot of good stuff. So I'm really excited. 
Obviously, there's different paths you can take, so you can go up top, go down low. Apparently, down low was a mistake. Oh, no. Man, I need to get some help. I'm going to die really early on this video. Can't afford to go down low, there's too many people. What y'all are thinking I'm taking the cheap way out. It's not true. I'm taking the smart way. In an apocalypse, I'm gonna survive. Oh, there's that thing up there. Ah oh, man. Damn it, bitch. So yeah, so 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 when you start over, you start off at your last checkpoint, and uh, in in this case, it was uh, very low health. So once again, you really have to be smart about how you play. I haven't quite figured out a way to kind of go back and maybe heal yourself, um, but that may be something that I'm probably just missing. So, so maybe we can get lucky here. Let's see if we got something. Back in business, boys. Got some health. Cheap chair. And see, just just playing through the game, it's like the first time you saw me when I got wrecked. And it's so easy to miss that, and then boom, you're done. And so it really is kind of a a fairly realistic interpretation of, of kind of a post-apocalyptic world just because you really do have to survive and, and use your resources and rations and craft things, make extra bullets, so it really is kind of a quote-unquote fight for survival. So uh, in this case where I don't have any in inventory spots left, there's definitely some some additional health. I chose to go ahead and heal myself now, um, and then take the the additional health items. So obviously that was kind of a no-brainer decision. But these are these are the types of things that you kind of face with in the game. Like, do I take this crap material? Do I take the medical supplies for healing? It don't really know what to do. So now we're exploring the junkyard. Somebody's been busy down here. Oh yeah, the internal narration. I love it. Really helps to add character depth and make you figure out what the character, help you figure out what the character's thinking, why he's thinking, that, stuff of that nature. And it just, just kind of touches off. I always appreciate it personally. So. You see, we're at the crafting table right here. This is where you can take your supplies and, and make more ammunition. Let's see if I need anything. I'll make some shotgun shells. Yep. Got some additional ammo, which is always good. And once again, another decision. Either go down this zip line, and then you can go down here. And I guess I just chose to go down here. When you thought you were cruising along and had it all, you, you know, figured out, it's boom. You just get wrecked. Absolutely. Um, those guys with those damn long range guns can like, catch me on the guard. And right below your health, you'll see the little green bar. That's your stamina. So as you, as you get stay in combat longer, you start to actually run out of stamina. So. No, I can't say enough, it's just more tactics, more strategy that you have to use. And as you see, my uh, my dumbass forgot to uh, craft my shotgun shells. And I respawned back in, so that's just another part of my fault, or another 
fault on my end, just not thinking through things. Attention to the wheel, I would see that it's spinning towards me, so it should be pulling something. I just wish I knew. I see it. And there's hope. Maybe it's the girl I'm looking for. Take me away. Take me away, my still maiden. smart because I can't scavenge him now. Let this guy get a little closer so we can knock him out. Get his stuff. A lot of games that would be like this, a lot of people would get frustrated by now. Oh, I love it. It's fun. I just can't stop playing. Man. Oh, Never my God. Never saw him again. Never saw him again. No, probably because you're dead. That's probably why you didn't see him. Don't give up. We don't drop something to do. Keep going 
back to do some exploration on this video. Can it hurt? I knew it! I knew it was worth something. Got the max amount of casings. So then, uh, y'all may not have kind of caught it there, but these are really good health rations, bandages. So not want to just not take them. I had to make a sacrifice. I had to drop some glass, crafting materials. It's all right. Back now, hopefully I don't have to fight these bosses again. My health he is healing. Is this the oh end? my god! Hmm. Stupid. Fight this mother... Ah. I don't know, that dude's the hardest one. Goodness gracious. Hey, damn it. Yes.
Although I do have another kind of like a 45% ration, so a really good one. I don't want to use it yet. So I may get myself in a little tizzy and need it. So just contribute to the whole apocalyptic feel. Got in here. Healing item. Schematic. It's something we want. Some exploration. Looks like we're good. One could only carry so much. One could only carry so much. Maybe we don't have any room for shotgun shells. Man. Let's give this healing item. Schematics all about. More it's up. The component is missing. going through here um recently and I was oh, the, oh this is the guy I'm looking for he's perfect into what I was going to say uh excuse me you go here looking for someone um because you go to this town looking for the main the girl and you meet these Not people little, please um you're talking to like captain. You done talking. captain of what the junkyard you bloody mongrels get lost So is Nibbler a rat? Like, an actual rat? Are you an actual imbecile? Leave me be. I have no time for the right, likes Sorry about that delay, guys. A little, <laughs> little musical clock going on. So uh, when you when you go to this town looking for your girl, Live you meet me all be. these kind of... I have no time for the likes people. of you. Um, and it's kind of character-driven dialogue. So Live like right be. there, I didn't answer uh, properly. <laughs> um, a little bit distracted, so... Leave me be. Reiterate, make our journal. So the girl you're looking for is Jody. And as I mentioned earlier, and come across this town and try to get these people's help, and these people need your help, so you kind of work on building their trust with you. Um, and, and it, things just kind of take off from there, so and have a little fast travel. Back to West. Now. So one really cool thing about this game that that I really liked, and you know, as I mentioned earlier, I could tell had a kind of a big effect on Gal was this dog is. 
or the game main character Buck. Um, obviously, he's a dog, and it was designed after uh, or modeled after his own personal dog. So you could really tell that the game meant a lot to him, and, and he's put a lot of time into it, and, and, and the game reflects that as well. So. Hi. I came right. to West Town to find her. Her name is, and she's leaving behind. Suspicious. Cutting you. In this. Mm. In the means. Anything. One of our mechanics. Get out of my face, kid. Got nothing to say. Hmm. So I don't know his story yet. I'll probably save my ass when he goes. Help us keep town. Find that slippery nibbler. Six percent of my health. I need to drop something. I don't want to drop. Drop this one gun, brother. Let me talk to him. Just more vultures, and got any other idea? Why yes, I managed. To one of them said the trader was found heading to Gotland. Gutless. A dangerous rock. The vultures are on their way. I'd advise you to get to him. Alright. Another, another mission here. I only passed him. Shoot him in the face. Alright, guys, so. Um, that's obviously the premise of Buck. So, I mean, the, the graphics are really awesome. It kind of feels like a souped up arcade game. Um, you, you know, you're not expected to have very super realistic you know unreal engine kind of kind of graphics um, it's meant to get have this arcade 2d side scrolling feel but um it doesn't have even bad graphics for 2d it's it's really crisp um and the full review will be coming shortly it's going to be a good one um so look for that and just a just a special shout out to gal and, and wave interactive for for all the work they've done on buck it's an amazing job i'll have a, a second video to show this little mission um and then uh, I think that I think that'll wrap things up, guys. So once again, thanks for watching our video. L let me know what you thought of Buck. Um, download the game, go buy it. It's, it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, if anything, it's uh, underpriced. So um, sh I'm gonna shout out to all of them. And guys, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe to our page on Facebook. And until then, stay satisfied.